Hey, I'm Cheat. This is uh, this is a great question. Um, thank you for asking it. And uh, yeah, let's let's talk about it. So, Anchi asks, how do you maintain a feedback loop for the community initiatives that you guys do at Triple Whale? How do you ensure that community members can reach out and help you improve consistently? Uh, love this question. I think it's it is super innate and uh, can't be stressed heavily enough. Uh, super important to make sure that. Um, that we're creating easy to understand opportunities for them to reach out and connect. So some of that gets done through, you know, I did set up some um, automation drips when people sign up. And even though that's coming from me, I also usually include an at myself in, in those particular situations. And then I've taken to, I think one of the things I mentioned in an earlier snippet was that we've taken to doing some bulk DMing. Um, and I try to, create opportunities for folks to reply to me directly and encourage those replies uh, to me directly. And it's like one of these things where it's like a, it's a numbers game, right? So it's like, if I send it out to like, right now, I think we have something like 1700 members in our community. It's like, so I may get a, a small percentage of responses, but if the responses are really great or very specific or, they sound like questions that might be also on the mind of other members of the community love those. And it's really an opportunity to surface them. So sometimes, you know, what is it? Fortune favors the bold. Sometimes people will raise their hand and, uh, and other people, you know, and it gives us an, a, a, an insight into what they're facing in a way to help them. You know, the other thing is, is that I think I mentioned that we do a little bit of matchmaking and I want to do more of it. That's why I'm going to, um, continue uh, politely asking for um, some additional uh, tools and Thredo to help us uh, sort that. But one of the things that we've been able to do that's kind of cool is that in addition to things like the Blue Whale Group, where we took these, these users at a certain financial threshold and put them all together, we also have a private group called Ladies of Ecom that's just for the ladies in the in the group. And they have their own meetups and they have their like I really try to stay out of that. In fact, I have a I have a um, colleague who runs that on our behalf, and um, and we just try to support them and get out of the way. And the questions that that come up in there, like we just had somebody who um, her businesses, the business that she was working for, isn't going to be there anymore, and so she's looking for a new role. And so she popped into Ladies of Ecom and got two job offers. So those kind of things are cool. I had somebody approach me about starting a Spanish language one, which I uh, would not, I, I would only, if I ran it, it would be hilarious, but uh, inefficient. So we need to find somebody to spin that up. But I, I find opportunities like that all the time and it's through engagement and just being available. I do a lot of uh, one-to-one touching base. And so that, that has so far uh, worked really well for us.